Hello. <laughs> it's time for the live stream. Thank you for tuning in. This is Sick Chance Worldwide. 1,000 subscribers celebration. Uh, they're going to hear a lot of aggressive kitten noises in the background <laughs> because we've got, we've got Pumpkin, our camera technician, and then we just got a new one. Surprise. Her name is Ginkgo. She's super cute, and uh, they love to play. <laughs> Not sure if they're really playing or what's going on. Oh, dang. We got two people. I don't know. I think... I think Hunter beat you, Chloe. <laughs> yeah, you Chloe, got, you're second. I'm then you got beat. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. <laughs> so before we start with whatever we're going to do today, which is a live Q&A and unboxing this thing, uh, I'm going to tell you all about how I lost sleep over this. <laughs> I lost sleep over this. I had a dream that I woke up and was going to get it, and someone had stolen it. So I like, couldn't sleep. I woke up at like 3 in the morning, so I'm really tired right now. But it's here. We're good. We're all Got good. It. Finally. Oh, my goodness. I just spilled something on the floor. We're just going to ignore that. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> We're going to start with the Q&A. All right. So the first question we got asked on Instagram, and it's, what's the story behind your favorite tattoo? We have the same favorite tattoo. Yeah. Thank you for noticing my hat. Thank you so much. My hat too. My hat too. Uh, that's right. It's our hats. Our hats. Um, I acquired these from an arcade. <laughs> they were, I mean, they were on the table. No one stopped me. Let's just say that. So here we are. <laughs> that's why we live stream. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite tattoo? Um, we both love the ones we got together behind our ears. If you can see that. <laughs> We got them, I think, four years ago on Valentine's Day? Four or five. I don't know. A long time ago. A long ago. time ago. And they say, swing the bat, which is <laughs> from Fully Fully. If you haven't seen Fully Fully, watch it. FLCL. <laughs> yeah. It's our favorite anime. It's important. It's very good. And uh, basically, the meaning behind it or whatever is that it, nothing can start until you start. Like, nothing can happen until you start. So, swing the bat is a metaphor for starting jumping out chloe your your opinion is invalid <laughs> <laughs> you're dating you i mean on andreas andreas understands too <laughs> thank you so thank much you. <laughs> <laughs> all right so the next question is what is the first food dish you run to after getting off the plane in japan those were not cops, by the way. That was an ambulance. We live right next to a hospital, so you're going to hear a lot of wee-woos and woo-woos. We're really safe. We'll never be problematic. We've got a Greg in the house. Woo! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know. What is the first food dish that we I try mean, to get when we get to the Japan? I think it's time? easy because there's a vegan ramen restaurant in the airport that we usually land in. That's true. So... We kind of have to go there first, except last time we landed there, I felt like I was going to puke. That was horrible. And it was a really bad time. <laughs> and then we were supposed to fly to Osaka, but we were like, eh. Yeah, we literally just, like, didn't. <laughs> we got a question. How nervous were you guys on your wedding day? I I mean, if you saw the video that I, <laughs> I made for, like, our vlog, like, our wedding weekend vlog... I was horribly nervous. I, it was cute. It was so hard to even film. I was like in a room by myself and I was shaking. I was so scared. I feel like we talked about it after and I feel like for both of us, like that leading up into that day, we weren't at all nervous. Like it was nothing. It was going to be so simple. And then like once we were like three or two hours like from the actual wedding, we were both like, oh, <laughs> not to get married or anything. Just like there were suddenly so many people there in the house and watching them all pile in was overwhelming. <laughs> so many expectations. But like, it was really good. <laughs> but it, Once yeah. we actually got out there, I don't think we were nervous at all. No, I was just having a good time mm -hmm. with a lot of good friends. Yeah, it was a great time. <laughs> <laughs> living Victim? Uh, when is Living Victim doing a reunion show? Probably never. <laughs> yeah, sadly never. <laughs> I mean, we had... Brad fill in on guitar, but now Brad is kind of MIA with uh, all of us. So, yeah. Probably never. I wish. <laughs> I would be so happy. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the most perfect match. Still so happy to see you guys come so far. Thank you. 
All right. Another question we had was, now that you have 1,000 subscribers, how much money do you make? (laughs) (laughs) Big zero. We don't make money doing this. (laughs) Big old, big old zero. Uh, Yeah, we make no money. Mm -hmm. We, I mean, YouTube, the way YouTube works with ads, we don't even get ads. Like, you get ads on YouTube once you've reached 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time within 12 months of its of each other basically and we have like i don't know 2200 watch hours yeah, like so. about half what we would need to be monetized and even with monetization like in that way on youtube if you just barely meet the standards the ad revenue is like nothing like people that make money on youtube have a huge platform like they're making money from brands and from collaborations and sales and all that stuff like yeah just posting videos no <laughs> so don't worry we're not trying to sell you anything we're except for a good time we're trying to let you have a good Definitely. time <laughs> that's basically the whole reason why we started our channel we wanted to help people go to japan or go out wherever. of the country wherever it doesn't even matter just go out and do it because we thought it was impossible when we first did it ourselves and we've learned that it's very doable Aggressive kitten noises. <laughs> okay, can you guys hear them? I don't know if you can hear them. But they're, they're just making like the rumbling, like, sound wild like running there. around. <laughs> I hope they come up here so you can see them. <laughs> okay, what's the best souvenir you can get from Japan? Uh, <laughs> we're like so not souvenir people. No, like, on our very true. first trip, we probably. We're the most that way than we ever have been. Like, we got things here and there. But mostly we just kind of, like, keep, like, the tickets that we get for, like, going on trains or, like, our JR passes or, like, stamps in the passport, photos. Like, those are kind of souvenirs. Photo. This one. (laughs) This photo hanging right here. Oh, yeah. Can you see it? It's probably dark. But that's the one that Chance took of the location he proposed to me uh, in Aoshima on the island. And it's beautiful. (laughs) Okay, we have. Pretty. Have you ever considered collabing with another YouTuber? Um, we haven't really gotten any tempting offers. Like a lot of the Japan YouTubers, which is probably where we would fit in right now, are huge. Like ridiculous. (laughs) Like there's there's not a lot of like really like compelling small channels that we would have a chance to collab with. That we even like fit with really. Yeah. We just have to find somebody that's (laughs) like us, which is kind of hard. I feel like. Yeah, we're kind of weird. Like, yeah, we had one guy who asked us <laughs> if we wanted to collab with him, and it was like a, a Skype call, and he wanted to talk about Japan, but he hadn't been for like 10 years. And we were like, I mean, we could do that if you want. And then he just stopped replying to us. So, Oops. no collab yet. <laughs> check out Doga TV. I will. I'll check that out yeah, for sure. Thank you. Where's Pumpkin? Pumpkin, can you not hear him? He's right behind the couch. He's, he's, uh, let's see. If we can, let's see. Pumpkin and Ginkgo are are meeting oh, each other. Oh, you can see his tail. That's it. Oh, Here he gone. comes. He Maybe. came running around somewhere else. He's just zooming right now. He's running around. Hopefully, doing... <laughs> they'll chill out by the end of the stream, and we can hold him up for you. Yes. Yeah. You guys haven't seen Ginkgo yet, and you have to. <laughs> Ginkgo is so cute. She's adorable. She's real scared of people, though. Yeah, so we're taking shy. it slow. Do you guys always match hair color? For the last like what three or four years yeah mostly just because it's more economical true <laughs> true it's easier to share yes chloe new cat new cat and everyone's been talking about our hair because it's green and blue and everyone's talking about oh saint patrick's day isn't here yet oh you're so early for saint patrick's day <laughs> yeah. but you know what we dyed our hair before we even thought about saint patrick's day i forgot it was even a holiday yeah i literally we didn't think about it forgot at it. all we did it because i'm gonna be a bridesmaid in my best friend's wedding and her colors are blue. So I picked green. <laughs> They're being wild back there. I hope you can hear this. Pumpkin Kinko. Yeah, she picked blue and green so that way it would go with her dress. Yeah. And I get match her as well. Mm-hmm. But we ended up perfectly matching the Animal Crossing <laughs> switch with the blue and green pastels. So it worked yeah. out in the end. Total no accident. Understands. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the congratulations. Let's see. What's the next question? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm kind of curious if you guys are pro-cannabis, regardless if you guys partake. 
yeah. hundred yeah. percent pro cannabis. Yeah. I don't partake. I don't smoke. I don't use any, like, I don't take edibles or. Neither of us use it at all, except for like a CBD cream. Maybe we would definitely be interested. Yeah. 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 But Cause we have bad knees. Yeah. <laughs> But we don't smoke weed or anything, but we're very pro cannabis. Our neighbors, awesome. we just watched their cat for like a couple of weeks. They smoke a lot of weed. They are ambassadors <laughs> for the, what is it? The, the Church of Cannabis in Denver. It's like a huge thing here, tourism. And people come like from all over the world to see it. And they're like the grandparents of the church. It's wild. <laughs> it's a real church. It's, yeah. it's real. You should check it out if you come yeah. here and you're interested in that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. It looks really cool. Yeah, they're nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next one is, what is your vlogging setup? Like, what do you use? Uh, so I use this. This It's a Sony a7 III. I got like a 24 to 105 lens. It's not the kit lens. It's a little bit better than that. We got this microphone like a month after we, no, not even a month after, like a week after we started YouTube. Yeah. I went on Facebook Marketplace and someone was like, hey, this microphone keeps messing up. Does anybody want it before I throw it away? And I was like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so we drove down and picked it up and it's only ever messed up on us one time. Yeah. And it was it's like a $100 microphone. It's really good. It works super well. We have the Joby Gorilla Pod that uh, <laughs> is okay. It's just okay. It's just okay. Sometimes the, it kind of like slides out and so you got to be really careful. That's how I lost my other Sony. If you haven't seen that video, oh yeah, the that's tragedy. So bad. <laughs> we were in Japan and filming, and it was up on the table, and then like the leg just gave out, and it fell from here to like there, but it landed Fuck. right on the lens, and it jammed into the camera. Dead. A hundred percent dead. So much money. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. it's kind of heavy to hold. Honestly, it kind of like like if you see some of our videos, I'll just be like. <laughs> Just it's shaking really uncontrollably. <laughs> that's why chance works out. But that's my first time trying Sony. I usually use Canon. I've been with Canon since I bought a camera in general. I really like Canon's colors, but Sony for the video has been amazing. So mm-hmm. let's see, let's see, let's see. Of our five trips to Japan, which was your favorite and why? We just talked about this the other day, actually. It's funny. <laughs> we were saying that, like, we have to choose our honeymoon just because it's our honeymoon. So, like, it has to be the best trip. But if it weren't for a honeymoon, the trip in October of 2018 was amazing. amazing. That was, like, the perfect trip. It was so good. Seriously. Uh, I mean, like, it's our first time in Japan that wasn't the spring. We were there to see the fall colors and everywhere looked amazing. Fall is the best time of the year. So, I mean, it was beautiful weather, beautiful scenery. And we met so many people and went to so many new places that it was just the best. And on our first trip, which might have been our favorite, uh, Fervor, (laughs) Sarah Sarah messed up and threw away her rail pass. Oh, don't talk. Like the first week we got there, we were supposed to leave like a couple of days after that and go down to Osaka for the first time, but Sarah lost her rail pass. And it cost $600. You can't replace it. So we had to expedite a rail pass to an address in Japan that we didn't know how to read. We waited around all day for it to show up, and then they said they tried to deliver it, but no one was there, even though. But we were sitting on the porch all day. We were there. So we had to then go to the post office and try to communicate with these wonderful people that we had a piece of mail that we really needed to have. We didn't have any way to communicate with them. And like no identification in Japan, no proof that the address was ours. It was a mess. That was such a good trip. Yeah. But luckily we ended up getting it. We had a great trip. Yeah. So when is Sarah going to start modeling? Uh, <laughs> I have done a lot of that in the past. That's true. It's cool. I've dealt with a lot of creepy people. Overall, it's not really worth it. <laughs> You're gonna model. Watch out for creeps. Yeah, lots of creeps in the industry. But on the internet. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever think about planning a trip with some friends? We did plan yeah. one trip with our friend. His name is Justin. You saw him in the first vlog that we did on our 18 series, 18 series, 18 episode series, <laughs> where we went to Japan in July, he picked, took us to the airport. Mm-hmm. He picked, took us. 
And <laughs> <having> a good time. <laughs> he really wanted to go to Japan because we went to Japan, talked about how amazing it was, and he was like, oh, let's go see the cherry blossoms. So we planned a trip with him because we found some tickets from Denver for like $600 round trip. And that's a, good price. that's a really great price. We were like, let's go. Yeah, so we did. Yeah, we went to Japan with Justin in 2017. Or two, no, 2018, 2018, spring of 2018. Yeah. Um, but that's the only trip we've ever planned with a friend just because uh, we're kind of homebodies in general. If we don't have very many, like, super, super close friends. But uh, <laughs> almost, almost <laughs> one cat. Yeah, but. because travel, I mean, travel is like where it brings out, like, the worst of people, I feel like. Because you're in really harsh situations. Like, conditions right. are yeah. pretty, pretty rough, like, sometimes there's. You every, never know what's going on. Yeah. Every trip we've been on, no matter how prepared we are, something completely random goes wrong, and we're just thrown yeah. with whatever's going. So we just kind of go with the flow, and and it's lucky that we're so compatible. Like that, like going into this relationship, we didn't know we were going to be internationally traveling many times a year. So like, it's lucky, honestly, that we came out of it and are like the same kind of travelers. Like we are not stressed. We don't plan a lot. We just kind of go with the flow and like day to day and do whatever we feel like basically. And a lot of people are not at all like that. <laughs> so that would be the main worry is that like if we had a friend or a couple or somebody that wanted to travel with us, that they would be so like thrown off by our <laughs> traveling style. Like it could be stressful for them. <laughs> That's true. We, we uh, yeah. don't plan out our days very well. No. We plan out like we're in the general region of where we want to go. And then we just kind of do whatever. Yeah. We like each other. Bye Chloe. Hang out on Facebook. You got to message us from Faith's account. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I need some faith in the chat. I need that ASAP. Let's get faith in the chat. Those are my sisters. Thanks for stopping by, Guy Gen Quest. <laughs> You're great. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, na, 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 na. What is your number one must see spot in Japan? Enoshima. Enoshima Island. This picture, I mean, let's talk about it again. Me. Uh, the sunsets at the edge of Enoshima, you can see Mount Fuji in the distance, and there's, like, the layers of mountains, which looks amazing, so, like, I love when there's, like, the layers you can see where it's, like, shadow, shadow, and then there's a big mountain in the background, Mm -hmm. perfect like that, and it's just a big stretch of ocean with the sun setting into the ocean, basically, depending on the time of the year, or right behind Mount Fuji. Yeah, it's, like, it looks fake like straight up fake like depending on the sunset it feels like you're in a painting and you can like walk all the way out on like the rock terrace into the ocean and the waves are like crashing everywhere and it's silent like it's unreal that's like number one place that in the world so far (laughs) it's amazing i mean there's Mm -hmm. other everywhere in japan has its own charm and is amazing in its own way but I've never been to a place that many times that takes that much effort to get to and been blown away every single time. Yeah, every time. We go, like, multiple times on every trip, so. If you go to Japan. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, what this year? We are going to Europe. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, you, you saw just, a cat. You just right saw there. a cat in the corner <laughs> if you were watching, but we're going to Europe. Uh, a lot of Europe. A lot of Europe. Western Europe? Uh, yeah, Western Europe. and Central Europe. Uh, we have tickets from Denver to Paris, France. It cost $150. We had no plans to go to Western Europe. We were actually looking at, like, Scandinavia, so, like, really different. But we saw those tickets, and we're like, there's no way that we're not going to buy this. Like, it's exactly. so cheap. So, yeah, we're going to Paris um, October 2nd. And then we're going to spend, we don't know how long yet, because we don't have a ticket back to the States. Maybe we won't be able to come back to the States. We're not sure. So uh, <laughs> however long we spend, we're going to go like all over France, Italy, Greece, uh, Austria, Germany, kind of like all the area in between, like Hungary and Budapest. And I know I'm missing like a lot of countries. Yeah, we're, we really want to go to Amsterdam. We're going to go to a lot yeah. of different European countries and the testing on this whole live stream thing because I really want to while we're there I don't want to be editing videos and everything like I did on my previous trips because that was so so much work yeah so I'm planning on doing live stream when we get to a new country or maybe just on like the weekends 
doing live stream like walk around of like the new country because like, we've never been there talking to you all taking you with us on that yeah. trip so stay it's going to be those. like just as much of a learning experience as that for us as it is for everyone else because exactly. we've only ever been to asia so yeah. <laughs> going to europe is going to be very different we're really so excited true. faith is here uh I have questions. <laughs> Not questions. <laughs> First of all, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? Good question. Thank you so much for your question. <laughs> Let's see if we have anything else. Mm -mm. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. We're going to do an unboxing. Woo! I'm so excited <laughs> to see this Finally. thing. I'm so excited. I'm going to tilt this down a little bit. We went and picked this up from Target at like 7.30 in the morning today. Uh, we didn't know we were going to do that. <laughs> Ooh. From Johnny, you won't be able to travel through Europe in the near future. We're all closing our borders right now, starting with Austria, uh -huh. Czech Republic, and Denmark tonight. Yeah, I wish you the best of luck. I'm so sorry to hear that. I've heard about a lot of this, mm -hmm. especially in Italy. It's been really mm -hmm. rough. We've heard, I mean, obviously we don't live there, but we've heard about how rough it is. and It's, it's, it's really it sad. I'm, I'm really so glad sorry. that our trip wasn't planned for right now, like selfishly because obviously it wouldn't be happening, but luckily we did plan to the end of the year. Yeah. So hopefully, hopefully everything's fine hopefully for everyone Hopefully everything then. is fine but <laughs> for everyone else's yeah. sake, not for our sake. Oh, nice. You're getting paid vacation in Germany. Europe is cool. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, uh, in, in our city right now, they just tried to pass a bill saying, like, if we have to quarantine, like, everyone should get two weeks paid vacation, and they voted it out, like, everyone no one voted that that should be a thing. So, welcome to America. We're not getting paid vacation. No, we're not. But we're also not quarantined yet. No. So hopefully, right now, we'll see what happens. We work in a restaurant, and restaurants do not close nope. no matter what. So <laughs> especially ours. We're gonna maybe get sick, but not lose money. No. Nope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. You're not ready. Look at this. <laughs> Look at it. Literally, it's the same color. It's us. As our hair. We got, I don't know how this webcam is doing on colors. Yeah, how way. does our image look? Do we look good? Is does, it all bad? Does it look terrible? We can't tell. <laughs> okay, we got we got two Joy-Cons here. They are the most beautiful pastel colors. Green and a blue. They're so crisp. They really are. They got a cream on the back. Cream oh on God. the inside, cream on the outside. Uh. <laughs> Uh, copyright strike. <laughs> okay, and then we have, yeah, this switch literally came out. Yeah, 12 hours ago. Yeah, this morning. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we got it. The switch itself has this amazing... Uh, Embossment. Oh, oh, you can see. Hey, look, There's it's Ginkgo. Ginkgo. <laughs> it's Ginkgo. Can you tell how tiny she is? She's a little orange She's cat. like half the size of pumpkin, and if you've seen pumpkin, she's tiny. But it's got some villagers, some animals on the back of it, some cool stuff. I mean, it just, it doesn't feel any different than a regular Switch other than that. Yeah, it's good. But, pop this out. <laughs> Can you hold this for me, please? We had such a hard time making sure that we got this Switch. We literally had orders placed for, was it Spain or Germany? We had them in Germany. In Germany. We like ordered yes. them on German Amazon because everywhere sold out so fast and we just weren't prepared. And uh, luckily we got to cancel those and we got them ordered through Walmart, but then Walmart just lost our order. So we went to Target this morning when they opened. Yeah, like my dream where someone yeah. stole it. Basically, I, they lost happened. it. They just lost my order. Yeah. And the guy's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'll give you 10% off. And I was like, <laughs> that doesn't help me. <laughs> I need this console. But thank you so much for the 10%. And then I just didn't say anything to him. Went to Target, hoped, and it was there. Got it. Mm -hmm. Called. Canceled. Done. Done. Easy. Okay, so another really exciting thing that these come with are the little things that go on the end of your Joy-Cons. But they're exciting because look at this. It's look like a color. It's like a tennis uniform. Look at this. It's <laughs> this is adorable. They're so cute. The colors are so good. Oh, you got yours from Poland, even though you're in Germany? That's wild. Yeah, we actually, <laughs> we ordered ours from Germany, like, the 
day that it sold out in America, so a long time ago, like three weeks ago, but everyone was worried that Germany wouldn't actually ship them to the Americas, and they just said that they would, and they'd cancel it the day before, so that's why we tried really hard to not have to go through with it. <laughs> Did you get yours from Poland yet? Yeah, have you have you received your Switch yet? Or does it only come on the 20th? Oh, maybe. I bet yeah. it comes on the 20th. Yours is bundled with the game, right? Yeah. Ours does not come with the game. <laughs> so we have to switch with no game. The rest of the stuff in here. Oh wait, there's one more exciting thing. I <laughs> can't believe I forgot about the Nooklings. <laughs> the biggest part. <laughs> you got yours already? Wow. Nice. Okay. The I mean one of the, the biggest selling points for this thing. I don't know. I hope you can see this. Yes, you can. Look at this. Look at how look at it on a little island. <laughs> so cute. No, it doesn't come with the game. It's full price, two ninety nine plus tax, no game. But I mean, the ones that I saw weren't discounted anyway. It just had the game with it. Oh, flights from Europe aren't canceled. No cargo flights. So like his switch. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I see. That's I mean. That's lucky. That's good. That's weird to me. I, obviously, it's less risk, but still. You're going to touch it. and You never know. <laughs> you know. It's like that Simpsons episode everyone's been talking about. The Simpsons predicted it again. Was Standard cute. Twitch doc, other than the cuteness. Yeah. There's, and people are, like, selling such cute stickers yes. that you can, like, put on there so that they, Isabel can be, like, in a robo cool tube or a <laughs> robo. Like, they're such cute ones. So cute. So, one more thing we gotta do. We gotta we gotta put it all together. Our, yeah. our cats are having a grand old time out there. Yeah, I want them to come over here. They're just playing so much. <laughs> <laughs> you can see them just running around in the background. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna put the whole thing together real quick. <laughs> you see the cream doesn't really match the black. I think it looks nice though. But it doesn't look bad. It looks very industrial. But then, grab your dock. Grab your dock. Boom. You got, oh, the, yeah. you got the blue, you got the green, you got the cream. It's <laughs> <laughs> everything you need. <laughs> it's awesome. I am so excited for Animal Crossing to come out. If you don't know that we are obsessed with Animal Crossing, then yeah. you don't really know us. But we, we took off five days of work to play. <laughs> Ooh, let's see if I can get the Switch startup sound. This is the first time starting it. Yeah, we just unboxed this. It might be dead. Oh, they got this. You can see a reflection of us. <laughs> Everybody quiet on set. What? It didn't make the noise. How are you going to do this to me, Switch? No click? It didn't give what? us a click. There was no That's click. That's so weird. They I can't believe do. it. Turn it off. Turn it off. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> We're going to try again. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take off the Joy-Con and see if that'll make it happen for us. Donnie, where are you at in Germany? Yeah. If you don't mind me asking, I guess. <laughs> I don't want to have you given away your, uh, your location. <laughs> Ooh. Kitties. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't get a switch startup sound, I guess. This is sad. That's so weird. Do you hear these cats? Do you hear them? <laughs> they sound so vicious, but they're having like the greatest time. They the really world. are. <laughs> you're like right. these tiny little kittens. I'm gonna go grab pumpkins. So Yeah, go get the cats. I can show you all One the cats. Berlin Metropolitan. That's awesome. Wow. We really want to go to Berlin because of vegan food. We are going to Berlin. So I don't know if you know anything about vegan food. You are vegan, but very excited to go to Berlin for that reason. Also, I took a bunch of classes for German in high school. So I'm really excited to embarrass myself in Germany. Pumpkin. Hello, pumpkin. Pumpkin came right it's time to shine. You're trying to shine on pumpkin. <laughs> okay. You go so shy whenever she sees you walking towards her, her ears just go flat. <laughs> It's so cute. It's pumpkin. It's pumpkin. <laughs> Look at him. There he is. He's Here made is it. his will. <laughs> Bye. Did you show, let, let Chloe see pumpkin first before yeah. you leave. Chloe has requested this boy. Pumpkin. 
<laughs> hey, <laughs> it's like that's <laughs> not over. <laughs> okay, it's so worked up. Uh, sadly, we can't show you the switch noise because it didn't make it for me. I'm gonna call up Nintendo and complain because they didn't collaborate with our hair, <laughs> and it didn't make the switch noise. But that is all we have. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with us on our first live stream. Hope we qu- add a, hope we answered all the questions you had. <laughs> And we'll <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. Don't come to the main station. All right. We'll listen to that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <sighs> yes. <laughs>